So you shift it. It's a perception. What was a threat before and you were trying to avoid it, now you're welcoming it to challenge you because you want to use them and use that opportunity to practice being still. You, you, you understand? Now you're walking into this situation with awareness instead of being mechanical and avoiding the situation so you don't react. Now you're welcoming it, fully being aware of it. Because every day something happens that existence provides us with an opportunity to practice being still, to keeping your attention on the witness. Every day something happens. If you pay attention to it, it's literally every day. Some days it's more than other days. But from a very subtle way and to extreme, existence creates opportunities. And not looking at it as a malice intention that God is punishing you or you've been bad or you've done something wrong or you're unconscious. Recognizing that we're in this school, this dimension is a dimension of training. It's a training program for human beings, the souls coming into this dimension to experience and learn what we need to learn in this dimension. And there's a lot of people wanting to change this world. They want to change the world. There's nothing wrong with this world. This world, uh, with all its screwed up stuff, all its darkness, is absolutely a necessity. For these spiritual warriors to enter into this school to learn what we need to learn. So you're in the right place and you're doing a good job. Just every day add up a little bit of awareness to it. Be patient with yourself. Your mind will come and judge you. Your mind will come and tell you that you're don't, you didn't get it. You're not on it. It will come up with all kinds of stuff. Ignore your mind. Don't pay attention to it. And every day add a little bit of awareness to your work, to your day. And soon you will see, as your vibration starts to change, the more you bring the awareness in your daily life and you know you can forget the days that you've completely get identified and completely get into a fight or go into fear worry anxiety that's okay don't beat yourself up that you failed know that you're on the right path know that god loves you know that you have a deep love for self-realization and this is a part of the process Thank you. you're welcome and then you will see as your vibration starts to rise through being aware the utter world will change to your new level of awareness it must. You cannot be vibrating in this frequency and be in this dimension. As your vibration changes, you, the reflection of the world you deal with will change according to where you're at. So it's, it's like I'm on two different cell phones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, Satasur, I would like to say thank you. Uh, I met you. One thing is, is this 
this air, but but also I met you ninety three or something. At at where? Uh, it was at the alternative fair in uh, Minnesota. Right. Are you? What country are you from, if I may ask? Norway. Norway. Okay. So we met in Norway in Lillestrøm, probably. Yeah. Okay. All right. It was, uh, well, it was instrumental. It was very important for me. Uh, so that was, that was one thing. <laughs> I have, actually, the Petra, she, she, she asked some of the same question I want. But since I have a, a shaman here, um, I am working this beautiful girl. And, and I, I, my previous dog was also working with me as a healer and, uh, and some other stuff. And I find it a cha challenge. Because uh, you talk about being in your in your own energy uh, and when so together with it's look getting forward to the <laughs> so I'm sorry I don't quite understand can you just in one sentence uh Tell me you're training her as my familiar. Uh, she's a rescue dog. Okay. She has some, some issues. Uh, and and I'm, I, I don't have any formal shaman training, though I'm trained in, in Tibetan Salon and stuff like that. So I wonder if you have any tips on how to work with, with your, your familiar, your, your our animal um, when, when it's, it's in the physical. Okay, yeah, uh, basically, as I mentioned before, is this is an inner job. So you kind of have to reject everything in the utter world and turn the attention inwards and look for the witness something inside me please everyone pay attention bring your attention here because this is important and this is going to really help you how do you hear your thoughts how do you know your thoughts if somebody comes and say oh Zarathustra, I got these thoughts bombardments. My mind is driving me crazy. Or how, or my emotions, I got all these strong emotions coming. And I feel sad or depressed or f f whatever is the story. How do you know that? How do you know that your mind is troubling you? Have you ever questioned that? Has anyone ever questioned? We're always looking for a remedy to solve our problems in life. Especially if it's emotional issues or mind bombardment. We're trying to figure out a way of how to ease, put the fire out, okay? But nobody is pay, looking at this, that how do I know that I have these thought bombardments? How do I know that I got this emotional turmoil? You've never asked that question. 